Good morning. It's uh, Friday and I just scraped my bumper on the wall. That was no good. Uh, probably because I'm running a little bit late this morning. Boo. Oh well. Um, I was going to uh, just babble at the camera like normal this morning. Um, but then I saw the news today and um, there's actually something that is bothering me that I want to talk about. Oh, our cars is getting worked on, our police cars over there. That's not what I was bothering me that I want to talk about though. Um, what's bothering me that I wanted to talk about is there's been a rash of fires in central Ohio in the last few years. And it's terrible. Um, it started off a few years ago, maybe three years ago or something, um, with a bunch of uh, abandoned houses getting burned down. Now, yes, it is absolutely possible that many of those were caused by transients, um, homeless people just going into houses and maybe lighting small fires or something to try to keep warm, um, whatever. Um, then a few years ago, um, this uh, Buddhist temple that my mom happens to go to um, got burned down. And uh, it, it was a total loss. And um, the fire marshal determined it was arson, which is absolutely terrible. Why would you burn down a Buddhist temple? Buddhist people don't hurt anybody. They never, they never hurt anybody. I mean, like, all right, maybe in other countries, but in Central Ohio, Buddhists do not hurt anybody. Don't burn down their temples. That's not cool. It's not cool to burn down temples or churches of anybody. It's not cool to burn down anything, really. Unless you're just making yourself a little bonfire. That's fine. Anyway. Then, um, let's see, there was a string of uh, apartment building fires. Um, then, towards the end of this summer, there was a warehouse fire down the street from us, and, uh, after, it was at a, um, a cold storage facility, um, and they had, they, I guess they didn't have anywhere to put the stuff that was supposed to be refrigerated after the fire because the facility burned down. So it was in their back lot and it was summertime, it was like August and it started to really smell bad. And sometimes when the wind would blow from that direction, we would smell it. And I'm like, what does that smell? Luckily we were far enough away because like when you were really close, oh my God, it was rank. Anyway, and then there were um, a couple of fires at uh, some um, recycling plants here in Columbus. Uh, there was one that uh, was, uh, I think, a paper recycling plant. And um, yesterday there was a fire um, at a uh, dining lodge down in Hocking Hills. And this morning, there's a fire out in Hilliard at a farmer's market, and um, I've been to that farmer's market a couple times. It's been several years, but I usually drive past it. It's uh, on the way to one of the Kroger's that I go to. So I drive past that farmer's market every week or two, and we always like, oh look, there's their goats. Point out the goats. And, Hi goats. Hi goats. Luckily, this morning, apparently the goats got out. Um, I don't believe there's been any deaths yet from these fires, but it it's absolutely ridiculous that there's so many fires. Now, 
it's 100% true that most likely not every single fire is related, but even if some of them are related, there's, I think it's, I mean, I'm not a fire marshal or fire inspector or fire person, and I don't know anybody who's a fire marshal or fire person, but I feel like it's probable that there is a person or persons that are committing these fires, and it seems like they're escalating um, in frequency and in severity, or uh, I guess a dangerousness, um, and I really, really hope that it's something that can be controlled. Like, I don't hope that it's arson, but I kind of do hope that it's arson, because if it is, then that's a person or people that can be caught before something really terrible happens. I mean, fire's bad enough. I saw pictures of the inside of the Buddhist temple when it burned down, and it was absolutely just awful. Everything was destroyed by either the fire or the water, and they have to completely rebuild. And this um, farmer's market is now going to be the same. I saw pictures of the barn. It was just totally destroyed. Absolutely nothing left. Um, so, anyway, um, I hope that they can catch this arsonist. It's got to be arsonist, uh, or arsonists. I don't know the plural of arsonist. Anyway, I hope they catch this person before somebody dies. Well, that was a depressing vlog, but anyway, um, have a good Friday and a good weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.